I was born in Nairobi, Kenya. I was born in America. U.S. in California in a small town uh, in the Bay Area called Hayward. Kenya, Uganda. Kenya. Shanghai, China. In the state. Kenya. Pakistan in the city of Karachi. I've lived only in Kenya. I stayed in Oremeta until when my mom was transferred to Kenya. Um, my family and I moved to Kenya, which is our home country, when I was four. So I've been living here for about uh, 13 years now. One, Kenya. I've only lived in Nairobi. I've lived in Uganda and Kenya. I've lived in Kenya. It's my home. Apart from China, I've lived in Kenya. What I miss most about China is the food. The food is very wonderful. I kind of miss the cultures and the, you know things that we usually do like on Sundays and during the um, national you know national holidays like um, during Eid or Christmas. Um, I definitely miss my family and my old friends that, were, that I had there. I think I miss most um, just having the benefits of a first world kind of country if you could say um, things such as you know you can go out and buy like a ready-made meal it's very fast-paced whereas I feel like Kenya is a little bit slower people are a little bit calmer things happen at a little bit of a slower pace but that's also nice um, the cultures that I've adopted as my own, I have adopted a lot of the Kenyan um, cultural practices. Uh, I love the traditional Kenyan food from the different tribes. I've been able to interact with my own heritage, which I think is a wonderful thing. I'll explore the Kenyan culture and be immersed in my own culture rather than be an immigrant in another country. Uh, the thing I love most about Kenya would probably the pe be the people and the melting pot of cultures that we have present here. You know, the food, the way people dress, I think it's just very beautiful. Since I'm a Kikuyu, I'm learning, I'm learning the language to say hi to my parents in Kikuyu. Maybe say a few nouns or verbs in, in Kikuyu. We, we have adopted a lot of the Kenyan cultures and traditions along with a lot of the Muslim cultures and traditions just because we're Muslim. And then a lot of the American things like Halloween, Christmas are things that we celebrate just for the fun of celebrating them and because we grew up celebrating them. I've adopted many cultures from my mom who's Kenyan and many from my dad who's French and so I think I've found quite a good balance between the two, between, for example, my dressing style, it's quite French, but at the same time, in school events where it's African dress, I'm able to relate and have clothes where I can wear that are Kenyan. Um, cultures and traditions I've adopted as my own. Once I'd like to cook a Kenyan food, like Sukuma Ugali. Like, there are many other things, like um, I try Kenyan dances, traditional dances. Um, I know how to speak Swahili. From where I live, it's mostly the food that we adopt. I mean, the staple foods, for example, ugali and skuma. No, I don't regret uh, being born in Kenya. And I wouldn't want to be born somewhere else, especially not my home country. No, I don't find uh, any problems telling people that I'm Kenyan, because uh, mostly because of my skin tone and my so-called accent uh, because I've been going to school here for about like 10 years or 12 years. I'd definitely say I'm Kenyan. I feel like being Kenyan is about all the experiences you have in the country and I feel like my whole life I've really just lived here, I've gone to schools here, uh, I've made friends here, I've eaten the food here, I've, I've been exposed to that so I'd say I'd call this place home definitely. I think I'm a global nomad. 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 I think I'm a global nomad.